What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to speed up the stock launcher on a Galaxy S5. This won't work with any other phone, so do not attempt to use this mod if you don't have a Galaxy S5. And as far as prerequisites go, you'll need to have a custom recovery installed on your GS5. But if you don't already have one, just head to the full tutorial at the link in the description below this video, and you'll find everything you need. This is all made possible by a flashable zip from developer Abrar Shake that speeds up the transition animations and slims down the whole launcher to give it a much smoother feel. And I've got a link to that zip over at the full tutorial as well, so go ahead and download that and we can check out the installation process. First you'll need to boot into your custom recovery. For most variants that means shutting your phone down completely, then holding the power, home, and volume up buttons simultaneously. If you have an AT&T or Verizon variant, you can get into Safe Strap Recovery by tapping the Recovery button that shows up when you're rebooting your phone. So once you've made it into your custom recovery, you should take this time to perform a full backup if you haven't done so already. Because if for some reason you don't like this mod, the easiest way to undo it would be to restore your backup. But with that out of the way, the next step is to hit the Install button. This might be a little different depending on which recovery software you have installed, but the basic premise is the same. Next, browse to the download folder on your internal SD card. Again, depending on your recovery, you may have to go up a few levels in the folder tree, then browse back down to the SD card entry to find the download folder. Once you're in here, just tap the Fast Launcher zip file, then with Safe Strap or TWRP, swipe the slider at the bottom to install it. With Clockwork Mod or Phil's Touch, just select Yes to install the zip. Once it's finished, all you have to do is reboot your phone and you'll notice the changes right away. Okay, so now that I'm back in Android, the launcher is noticeably faster. Like I said, transitions have been sped up and the launcher itself has been slimmed down. You can really tell the difference when you're flipping through the app drawer. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking!